wanted a change of scenery. Uh, to be honest, I was kind of tired of the living room. The color in the living room, like the lighting, is really yellow all the time. Um, it's a mess with my daughter's toys everywhere. That's another reason. So I looked in the bedroom and I was like, look at that beautiful light coming in. Let's work out here. By the way, you don't need a full gym to work out and get really good results at home. Um, people always ask me what I started with. It's two dumbbells. Uh, not sets, a set, which wasn't even a complete set because one was 20 and one was 25, um, and then bands, and that's about it. But anyways, I decided to do it in the room just because, I don't know, I wanted a different scenery and I like the light in here. So we're going to do shoulders. Uh, we'll see about my daughter coming in and out. She doesn't want to come in the room because she's used to, the room is for sleeping. I was like, how is she going to handle the move? <laughs> we'll see. What? I'm also taking advantage of using my bar which has been sitting in this room forever because I was only using it really for squats and then I was limited weights here so now I'm going to put it to good use for shoulder day. She makes it very challenging. She doesn't realize where the weights are, but good thing we both have our eye on her. Always keep out for the baby. Make sure that keep a lookout for the baby. Make sure they're not by your weights, right? We don't want to hurt you. I get often which I'm pretty sure I've answered in other videos but maybe I haven't talked about it enough to make it clear people tell me oh I was told or should I do cardio to lose weight and then start weightlifting once I've lost the weight absolutely not um, first of all cardio is not the best form of workout to do to burn fat um, weightlifting is so if you you'll burn you'll get better progress doing weightlifting with cardio as opposed to just cardio alone but then the biggest perk of them all is that um, with weightlifting you will like your body your body composition will change in a more flattering way you'll be uplifted you'll build nice muscle definition you'll you'll tone your body if you only do cardio Cardio has like a drooping effect. So even if you do lose weight, which you will probably lose some weight, um, it's not going to be flattering. So I, I always tell people I highly suggest you weightlift. Heck, if you wanted to only weightlift, that would be fine with me too. Um, but adding a little bit of cardio, if the goal is to lose weight, um, is beneficial. But make sure weightlifting is your, your major priority for best and fastest results. And what you really want to do is you want to build muscle. Now, I'm not talking about getting like me. I know the way I am is not what everybody wants. And I have older women too that are like, I don't really want muscle. I just want to tone. Well, that toning effect? it comes from muscle so you really do actually want muscle becoming like I am takes a lot of time I've already have what seven or eight years under my belt of working out um, and the way I work out is very intense so and uh, I went through bulking as well so weightlifting has so many benefits but 
through time, as you age, you lose muscle. The older you get, it's harder to build muscle and the more muscle you lose. So by weightlifting, you're kind of reversing that age process. You're keeping yourself young physically, um, probably mentally too, I'm sure, and that is a huge perk. You want to keep yourself young and fit and able to do things that other 60, 70, 80 year olds couldn't even dream of doing because they have lost so much muscle throughout their lifetime. Um, so I think weightlifting is important to keep throughout your entire life um, to maintain that muscle loss. We lose muscle every day. Even I lose muscle when I'm sitting around watching shows or, or show at the end of the night, when you're sleeping, when I'm writing emails, I'm losing a little bit of muscle, but the fact that I work out so often um, reverses that muscle loss and I like to add a little bit extra muscle. So weightlifting has so many perks, guys. I definitely recommend it. seen me work out at home in front of a mirror which might look a little odd but if you've noticed the gym is full of mirrors for a reason and the idea is one form you can always see your form correct it if it's not good um, but another thing is seeing the muscle definition seeing yourself engaging the muscle um, it kind of motivates you to keep going so if I see I have a really good pump am I gonna want to stop most likely not I'll push those extra few reps um, the way I was doing it here is like, I don't see anything, you know, I don't know what's going on, I don't know how my muscles look, turn and look and you're like, holy, okay, let me keep going, <laughs> you know, so that's the whole point of the mirrors, form and motivation, it keeps you going, and then if you don't like what you see, it also keeps you going because you're like, I don't like what I see, I gotta change that. Um, so I highly suggest working out in front of a mirror. You'll go lower with your squats. I don't have the, uh, like, the Smith machine isn't by a mirror, but when I was working out at home, I set up the mirror, and that's what taught me to go lower, because I was always like, no, I can go lower, no, I can go lower. And a lot of people ask me, how do you go so low through time, you know, seeing myself, seeing how, how low I was going or how lack of low how, how not low, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I think you guys get it. I wasn't going very low through time. I fixed that by seeing myself in the mirror, knowing, oh, just an inch lower or maybe a little bit lower. Um, and that's how I got better at getting low. So, work out in front of a mirror. why we have a pillow covering that corner, a pillow covering this corner, and we have a whole lot of blankets here to cover the foot of the bed frame. That's why we were looking at bed, uh, bed frames that were all cushioned, so we don't have to worry about her hitting any corners or hard wood. So we're definitely getting a cushioned frame. Now it's about, do we want that one that has the high, uh, what is it, high footboard area? Or do we want lack of it? And I was thinking, well, without it, she'll fall off the bed. But with it, she'll bang her head. Either way, she's going to hit herself. So I guess that's the debate. But we're, for sure, it's going to be completely cushioned so that my little monkey doesn't get hurt. <laughs>
to my haters who claim Photoshop. Photoshop that. <laughs> So that was it. It was a pretty simple workout. Now it's time to go refuel at one of our favorite spots. Am I saying where I'm going? <laughs> nuff nuff. <laughs> Before we don't have access to it anymore because, well, moving, we haven't found enough nuff anywhere by there. We also haven't found a Marcos. Well, it's like, what, 45 minutes away? If we want pizza, that's a dedication. And then Chipotle, I don't know. It's a little closer, no? Everything's half an hour. Everything's half an hour. Lord. More eating at home, I guess. <laughs> Which we should be doing anyways. <laughs> So yesterday's full day of eating vlog got me thinking um, that I should probably put a disclaimer on it and say just because I'm eating that amount of calories doesn't mean that if you start eating that amount of calories you will either look like me or get my progress. Um, everyone requires a different amount of food to eat. I am currently maintaining, which means I'm not losing, I'm not gaining. However, if your body is not where my body is and you don't burn as many calories as me or you're older, or younger, or shorter, or whatever the case is, your calories will completely differ. Um, and by differ, I mean I've seen fat loss at 1500 and I've seen fat loss at 2300. Um, so it's going to be different for everyone. Don't take exactly what I eat and eat it thinking that this is what gave me my body or it's because she eats this exact food and this is why she looks this way. It's calories at the end of the day that matter, but then it's also if those are your calories, they'll matter. Because if you're consuming the wrong calories, you're never going to reach your goals. Um, and this is a very complex thing to figure out for people. My clients go through an evaluation. So before everyone starts asking me, well, how much should I eat? I don't know because I don't know you I didn't evaluate you I don't know your activity level none of it so this is not something that I could just oh just eat this much and you'll be fine um, everyone eats a different amount uh, based on their goals and body actually for instance a perfect example I have a girl at 2400 calories who is bulking and that's on the high end of a bulk and I have a girl on 2400 calories who is leaning she needs to burn fat um, and the body types are completely different yet they're eating the same amount with different goals so just keep that in mind um, I just wanted to clarify that because I don't want anyone copying what I'm doing when it's not what's aligned with their goals and it's not gonna get them to their goals I don't want to ever put misleading information out there I show you guys my full day of eating because that's what you guys want to see but it doesn't mean that if you do exactly what I do you will look like me or you'll get the results that I have um, just kind of a disclaimer letting you guys know so yes we are on our way to Nuff Nuff and by the way we're eating here because all our errands are in the same location so we figure hey why not we love it it's there it's convenient let's do it it's super cold. and what it's super cold oh and it's extremely cold like really really cold so we don't really feel like traveling around or going anywhere <laughs> <laughs> She's really happy now. She was really upset when she thought she wasn't getting any. <laughs> you always get it for you. <laughs> she works with whatever She's like happens. a koala. <laughs> a koala. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to choose pink. I was going for like the grays, you know, to be a little bit more masculine for him. He's like, oh, the pink looks nice. I thought so too, but I mean, I'm not going to say pink. What, is pink going to make me be a girl? <laughs> yeah, he's like, what, is pink going to make me be a girl? It's like, no, but I don't know. A lot of guys get all like, no, I don't want a pink bed. Thanks, babe. We're getting pink. 
Because look, if you see, it's almost the same frame as the one we're currently deciding to get. Oh, what? But it's actually not that pink. I think they enhance the colors. It's like this grayish, grayish and peach and cream. More cream than anything. Right? Mm. <gasps> Definitely. I guess they have it on display. This is the one we like. So see, it's not that pink. It's more cream. Cream with some peach in a lot of it. It's really nice. I love it. <laughs> That's on the inside. We could turn it around and make it all pink. <laughs> We're deciding on a different one. I kind of like the blue. Blue with gray would look really nice. So this is it. And the detail is really pretty. I don't know. Kind of liking this. They came out with a caramel, the almond milk one, and a chocolate, but. I don't know, chocolate and coffee? Nah. <laughs> this is where you get the habas. Shop the world is what I it is in. <laughs> So we decided to go with the blue one. Um, simply, like, I'm actually happy we chose the blue. There you go. I'm happy we chose the blue because when I saw the pink one in the photo, they made it look really, really pretty and pink and I don't know, it looked nice. But then seeing it like in person, like as I was editing the video because I already started working on it, um, I was like, yeah, it doesn't look as nice as the photo. Um, and this one had a pretty good deal because it was on clearance. It was the same price actually of the pink one, but the original price was way more expensive. Um, but this one we like a lot. And another thing, we just tried giving Lila a bath. It was a total fail. She didn't even go in. I mean, I, we weren't gonna like get her naked or like force her in or anything. We were gonna just kind of show her the bath. I went in there, got it all ready, bubble bath. I put new little toys surrounding the bathtub and like these little color drops that she likes. And yeah, she's like, no. <laughs> I don't care, no, <laughs> not happening. So I'm gonna continue to shower her from now on because that was a fail. We're thinking when we move out, it'll be easier because it's a new tub. I think just, she's just scarred from that tub. Um, I hope. <laughs> We're both hoping because we really need to give her a bath, like let her sit in there and have fun. Or maybe summer doing a pool or something outside will kind of get her back into liking water. I don't know, she loved water. I totally hate this right now. It's really annoying me. Um, anyways, that's about all. We were gonna end it earlier, but just in case we did something interesting, we figured we would let the day go by, but nothing really interesting happened. So we're gonna end it here. If you enjoyed the vlog, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications. And until next time, bye.